Hey there, welcome back to Working Aussie's Homestead. I thought that for this month's budget video, I would include some footage of how we talk about the month and how we really help plan and prepare on the homestead for the change of seasons and especially coming into winter, what we need extra on the homestead. So hope you guys enjoy. All right, now this is definitely going to be a little bit different video because we are on the road headed to go and visit some friends. And we have eight puppies with us as well as our baby. But work still must get done even though we're taking a trip. So as we're talking about the month as a whole and preparing for winter on the homestead, we like to review notes that we've made Anytime we talk about a plan or an idea, we love to just go ahead and write it down. And if we can fit it in the budget, it's awesome. And sometimes we just don't get everything. But so for the month of November, the biggest things are continuing to fill our barn with hay and then prepare for heating our home with a cord of wood. So we always like to make notes as we write down the budget and include those projects in there. All right, so my plan for in the car did not work out as I hoped. The road was a little bit bumpier, um, but we're back here on the homestead and I thought we'd go ahead and finish up the conversation. So we talked about adding two major things to the budget this month. The first one being grabbing some more hay for our barn. So I put in $200 for that. And then the second thing is adding more wood to our pile for this winter. So we do have a wood burning fireplace. And so we're gonna go ahead and grab a cord of firewood. So that way we are good and stocked and it helps us save a bit on our electricity bill this winter. Um, as you know, our, our usage goes up. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and review. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to pull up every dollar. And if you guys are new here, we use the every dollar budgeting app. We're going to review last month, October, with you guys and then show you what November is going to be projected for for us for the month. So we do have multiple streams of income here. This is where if you're new and you are from the Homesteaders of America conference, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. But this will give you a much better insight into how we do our budget and what that looks like since neither of us have salaries that are set every month. Instead, it's we have multiple forms of income. And so I'll go over each one. So the first one is Red Robin. I put in the goal of 500. So the awesome thing is I made $743 at Red Robin. We did get our two puppy deposits that we had left. I put in 600 for our goal for the markets. We did 708, which was awesome. And then boarding, we got $80 for boarding a dog. Uh, Cedar Creek Market, this was awesome. I got 454, yeah, four, sorry, <laughs> $545, which was awesome. So the goal there was only 400, so we can just go ahead and update. It's 545. Now, my biggest tip when you are building your budget is if your income fluctuates, put a very reasonable goal for it uh, and build your budget around that. So for us, for us, it looks different every month, but that actually allows us if we make more, which we usually do, it's just more icing on the cake rather than saying, oh my gosh, we don't have enough money for this month. So the next line item on here is HOA. So I put in a goal of selling $500 worth of merchandise and we actually did 927, which was again, awesome. And then YouTube was not initially on here, but we did go ahead and get a payout from YouTube. So thank you so much for watching our videos. 
We made 166.06 and it has been three months since we got paid from YouTube. So those of you out there thinking we make a bunch from YouTube, we do not. Uh, we probably get a paycheck every three months and it's only about 150 bucks. So thank you again for watching this video. But going down, so that changed it up to $1,800 that we have left to budget. Um, so our mortgage payment is on here, water, electricity, trash. Now these are things that we include as part of our housing bills, but they're not technically related. Uh, we have our phone storage unit and internet on here. So if you're new, uh, we pay for a storage unit out in Kansas and that houses Josh's very first love, a 1967 Ford Mustang and it's in bare metal. So that is why it's still in Kansas and not here in our lovely hot, humid climate. Uh, but so that is $140 a month that we pay for it to stay safe and sound there. And we do have a friend that lives just like 20 minutes away that is there to keep an eye on it should we, should we need him to. So we have all of those expenses in here. Groceries, we were under budget, extra, we're going to add this in here to 4706. It uh, looks like we had a couple things we needed to add on here. So fun fact about our lives for the month of October, our washer broke. And then so did the power cord for our laptop. And so it was kind of a whirlwind of a month where we ended up taking a couple loads of laundry to the local laundromat until Josh was able to fix our washer, which is great. Ladies, if you're out there and you're single, marry a handyman, it's worth it. Um, instead of having to buy a couple hundred dollar new washer, it was what, 35 bucks for the part? Pretty much, that's yeah. what came out to. Yeah, 35 bucks for a new part and my husband fixed it and it works good as new, even better than when we got it. So that is in there. Uh, gas, we did not use everything this last month, which was great. So we're gonna just update that in there. And then the trip was when we went up to the Homesteaders of America conference. So we did haul livestock with us um, and so of course, expenses for that trip were a little bit higher just with gas and towing because it is roughly six hours from us. Um, so that's in there now. And then feed, we spent extra on hay last month. Adobe went through 1069. A lot of these that I'm adding in here, even though it's technically November, um, are things that go through automatically and because we do not have the paid premium version of every dollar it is not automatically linked to our bank account which you can do i believe it's 10 or 15 dollars a month uh, that you can pay for that and it links it directly we did that for a while but we found it was more annoying because a lot of expenses wouldn't go through for a few days, but we have gotten so much into the habit of recording expenses in the moment. Like if we go to the grocery store, like when we hop in the car before we turn the car on, we pull out every dollar and put in that expense. Um, you know, so it's a habit that we've created that if you are not in that habit yet, it might be helpful to have it linked to your bank account. But for us, it just was more of an annoyance. All right, so dog and cat food was cheaper last month, which is awesome. I like had some major discount through Chewy and they marked it down, which was great. Uh, do you remember what we spent at the vet exactly? I always put in $400, so we took our litter of puppies for their first distemper vaccine and it's usually between three and four hundred dollars so I always put in four hundred just to be on the safe side um, but we're gonna go ahead and update what it actually was let's see and it was the 28th that they went if that's helpful 389 389 <clears throat> all right Perfect. 
So that is in there. So we saved a whopping $11. All right, 389. Perfect. We got dog box went through. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, so we actually bought some Redmond Rail Salt Relight at the conference. So that's under personal. And then we had health insurance and Josh's loan. So at the end of the month, we had a whopping $1,782.29 left to budget. So when we are in a puppy having period, uh, we are not spending extra on anything other than making sure that the puppies are taken care of. Uh, so it's kind of like if we were preparing to have a baby or if we had a newborn baby, you know, we just kind of stockpile during that period of time. That way we make sure if any emergencies come up, we have that extra cash on the side, set aside. If we need it, it's there for a rainy day. So for right now, that $1,782.29 extra is just gonna go right to the bank and be saved for a rainy day. Um, when we have puppies, we pull back on our loan repayment. Uh, so right now we have one loan left and that is getting the minimum of $510.88. And so once we don't have puppies, then we'll go ahead and bump that repayment back up. Um, but in the meantime, we kind of treat it as like if we have, like we're preparing for a newborn. So we have that set up. All right, so ready for November. We're gonna go up to the top tap on November. It's going to ask if we're ready to create our budget. So once again, if you're new here to every dollar, it's going to copy everything from the previous month over, which is helpful if you have a salary and all your expenses are the same, but for us, they're not. So we have to go through line by line to just go ahead and adjust accordingly. So for Red Robin this month, I changed my availability because we want to heavily focus on the socialization of our puppies, which means field trips and puppy play dates and going to different events to make sure that they get proper socialization. So my goal for the month for Red Robin is actually going to be $3,000 or $3,000, goodness, $300. Now for the remaining amount of deposits, we are expecting $12,000 this month. And then for markets, whoop, for markets, we're gonna put in a $500 goal. For boarding, we are boarding a couple of our previous puppies. And so we're actually gonna put in $400 for that. Cedar Creek, we're gonna put in 1100. All right, we're not going to HOA, but I'm going to change this. So we are co-hosting yoga with puppy classes. And so I'm gonna actually put in here 500. And then I believe that is it. So we're gonna take YouTube out. All right, so income for the month is gonna be 14,800. All right, so going down, mortgage is the same. Our water did go down just a few dollars, 35.54. Our electricity also went down, which was awesome. Those nice cooler days. So 153.93, this is 45. Phone's the same, storage unit's the same, internet is the same. Groceries, I'm just gonna put in 100 right now. And then we're gonna take extras out. Gas, we're gonna bump it back up to 400 just because we will be doing those nice field trips with the puppies. Uh, we'll be headed down to South Carolina in two weeks, week and a half, week and a half. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that in. All right, so for feed, I'm actually gonna bump it up to $300 because that way I make sure that we have enough to get the extra hay that we need, but then we also have a batch of meat chickens that this will be the last month that we have them because we're gonna butcher them on December 1st. So I wanna make sure that we have enough feed for them so that they can keep growing. 
And we have Adobe is the same, doTERRA is the same, Living Farm Course. All right, dog and cat food. I don't have any more discounts this month, so it's gonna go back up to 400. Um, we're gonna go ahead, even though they are gonna be seen for the same thing, I'm gonna put 400 just in case. A real dog box. So we do include a real dog box, mini treat, and chew box in our puppy packs. So I'm going to go ahead and count that in here as well. So we're going to do 300. Um, we're not going to do personal, but I am going to add on here puppy packs. And being the budgeter that I am, I've already priced out everything that I need to order. And so it's going to be $786.97. Okay, health insurance is the same. Josh's loan. We're going to take it back down to $510.88. And then, let's see. Oh, we'll do it for the health. So this is going to be the cord of wood. Is going to be, Josh said he saw a thing the other day for a cord of wood delivered three hundred dollars so we might get it for cheaper but i'm gonna put three hundred dollars in just to be on the safe side all right so after everything is accounted for in here we have nine thousand four hundred twenty nine dollars and sixty seven cents left to budget now we are not going to be using that to budget because again that's going to go tucked to the side so that we can use that for a later day to help repay back off our loan. Um, but I'm super excited about that. It'll be a good busy month, <laughs> um, but it's a good one. It's a good one. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, please let me know down in the comments and give us a good thumbs up. We greatly appreciate your support in watching all of our videos and sharing them with your friends and family. I know our budget videos are not the most interesting video for everybody, but I do know that it helps those of you out there who are wanting to budget and feel a little intimidated by it. You can do this too, and you can do it with your homestead, with some side hustle that you have going on. So. For us, it's the same as if we were selling any other type of livestock um, and paying for vet bills and, and whatnot. So we're very thankful for the opportunity that we have. And I'm so excited for all of our puppies to meet their new families and for our yoga with puppies classes. It's gonna be a great month, a busy one, but a great one. And I can't wait. But if you're interested in an Australian Shepherd, please visit our website. We have more information listed there about our program and how we raise our puppies. And you can fill out our puppy application there. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.